YouTube, it's Ashley, back with another thrift haul. Um, like I've said before, you probably can't tell by the way I've posted videos, um, but it's been a very long time since I've filmed. I'm um, sporting my new short haircut again, um, but it's probably been a good month since I've filmed a video, which is pretty crazy. Um, but I just, I haven't been feeling well, which is why I'm kind of looking frumpy. I've just got a big baggy t-shirt on. Um, but I wanted to film a video. I've got a lot of stuff to film because it's just been kind of piling up from the um, times that I have gone thrifting over the last month. So I'm going to probably um, just do combined from two thrifting trips in this video and then I might even try to throw uh, another video on today. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what I, I end up getting to. So um, this first video is going to be a trip to Savers and a trip to the consignment shop. So not quite total thrifty, but very thrifty deals. So um, the first trip was to Savers, and as I always do, I did my buy four, get one free book deal. Uh, the first thing I actually saw, this was the first thing I spotted when I went into Savers, I went straight to the books, was this, uh, the Buffy Chronicles, the unofficial companion to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And at the time, I had just finished uh, re-watching the entire uh, series of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, so I was pretty excited to find this. And I think they charged me. It was either $2.99 uh, or $2.99. And then, um, I think this person charged me less for the books, whatever the, the lower price is. And then uh, this one, The Terror of Living. This one just sounded really interesting. I've never heard of this author. Um interesting title. I also picked up this one I was super excited to find. I've been trying to pick up books from the Dexter series and I found the first one finally, Darkly Dreaming Dexter. Tongue twister for you. And I also picked up uh, Paper Towns by John Green. I recently uh, finally read the book. It is escaping me right now. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to be able to think of it. This is so bad. I can picture the cover of the book. It's the one that everybody has read, and it came out as a movie, and it was really sad. You guys are probably, like, yelling the title of the book, but I just thought of it and went, out, and it went away. I'm, I'm not with it right now, so still not feeling totally great. Ah, look at it. They were so nice to put it on the back of the book for me. The Fault in Our Stars. That's what the book was. So I just recently, um, I don't know, like a month and a half ago, finally read that book. And the day I finished the book, within like five minutes of me finishing the book, I went on iTunes, bought the movie, watched the movie, watched it again the next day, and um, I'll probably end up watching it again. It was a really great adaptation. I'm usually pretty disappointed when I watch the movie after I've read the book, but they did a pretty good job, so... That's what I have to say about that. That's why I bought this book. And um, someone I watch on YouTube reviewed that book as well, so I'm looking forward to watching her review after I read it. And then I picked up this book, which looked pretty neat. Uh, it's called St. Andrew's Ghost Stories by W.D. Linskill. And this is just a little tiny um, stapled binded, staple bound, that sounds a lot better, um, book of ghost stories and this one is from I know I found it in here somewhere um, it's got to be after 1929 because it says that the author lived uh, lived until 1929 so I'm thinking not much longer after that um, it's looking pretty old but it was just something neat to pick up you know I this is probably the only copy of this I will ever see, or most people will ever see. So that was neat. And then I picked up a couple other random items while I was there. Uh, one of them being this bag of um, iPod cases. I actually have the iPod Classic, so I don't see too many cases for it. I did already put, um, I think it was a, another clear uh, jelly rubber one like this. Um, in like a darker color because I have the black one. So um, I have another black one here, a red one, and a white one. 
and the tag is not on this, but I believe it was $2.99. So $2.99 for our four cases was a pretty good deal, and my boyfriend also has the classic, so I figured I would give one to him as well. And technically I have two iPod classics, one of them just doesn't work most of the time. So maybe I'll toss one on that one too. And then I picked up this pin, which I thought was really pretty. It's got abalone, uh, mother of pearl, and then some sort of red thing, which I'm assuming is not coral, but it's still really pretty. So this I picked up for $3.99. And then I picked up another uh, bandeau. This one is actually from Victoria's Secret Pink. And it looks brand new. Um, maybe it's been worn and washed once, but I, I doubt more than that. And it was a little pricey. I'm holding the tag on there backwards at uh, $7.99. But I believe I used a 30% off coupon this time. I could be wrong. I've, I've had so many 30% off passes. It's hard for me to remember when I have used them or when I've just uh, earned them. I also picked up this really adorable dress, which the front of it has um, the lace with the little pink layer underneath it. The back of it is just sheer lace. So I thought this was really pretty, and then the bottom is this cream color, and it has a little bow on the back. And since it's a little shorter, I figured this would be really cute with some of those um, funky tights that I bought a while ago. And then the last thing I bought at Savers was this really long um, flannel. And I have been wearing uh, the flannel shirt that I picked up at the Goodwill Outlet Center from J. Crew, the one that's like oversized. I think it's a men's small. I've probably worn it like three times. And for me to wear something three times in like just a couple months means I really, really love it because I don't wear the same thing very often. So that told me that maybe I should pick up something like it so I can stop wearing the same one all the time. So those were the items from Savers. And then I will show you the items that I picked up from the consignment shop. So the most exciting thing about all of these items is that I technically spent zero dollars. I have found a consignment shop to consign my own clothes with. Um, I'd done some kind of searching around to see um, who I wanted to bring my clothes to, who I kind of could trust after having several poor uh, consignment shop experiences consigning my own clothes. And uh, there's a consignment shop that I go to every now and then that was um, is really close to my job. It's in the same town. So I thought it would be convenient to consign with them. Um, I've always had good experiences purchasing from them. The people in there are really nice. Um, it's a husband and wife that typically work there. So um, the wife, the owner, um, I had basically spoken with, uh, I guess they have one or two employees that work there other than them. I had spoken with um, her friend that works there, talked to her about their consignment policy and then she said, oh, you know, the owner will be on, in on this and this date. Um, I happened to not catch her. I was there, uh, her husband was there when I brought in a bunch of clothes. And they had given me an idea of how much they would take in on uh, the first time because you don't have to make an appointment. So I brought in a big bag of stuff. I brought in like five or so items more than what they accept on the first time, thinking they're probably not going to take everything that I brought. And um, the husband said, okay, we'll go through it and we'll call you to come pick up what we don't take. I said, okay. So the next day, I didn't get a call. So I called the day after that. It was a Saturday. And um, didn't get her, got the voicemail, figured she was probably with a customer. And got a call back from her saying, oh, no, we took everything. So that was pretty great news. And I waited a couple weeks, uh, stopped in, said, hey, you know, how'd everything go? Um, how's the stuff selling? And I had made almost $50. So that was pretty amazing to me. Um, especially, like I said, having such poor experiences before with uh, consignment clothes. So I proceeded to then spend all of the credit that I had there, except for like a dollar. So I have like a dollar in remaining credit there. But I will show you all of the pieces that I used my credit towards. So the first item that I got... Um, I've never heard of this brand before, but it's called Five Los Angeles. It's just this really cute mint green uh, lace top with a little sheer panel down the back. And I just thought like the back of this, the design was really cute. 
So I picked that one up. Uh, it was marked 525, but um, when I went in there, it was over a month old. So anything past one month is 25% off. And then I think after two months, it's 30% off. I don't know. I get all confused. All I know is after a month, it's at least 25% off. So I tried to stick to things that were at least a month old. Uh, this I thought was super adorable, this little J. Crew sweater. This was marked 850, uh, but this I believe was over two months old when I stopped in because this was from April. And when you hear that, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, it's, I don't even know when I'll be posting this, but I'm sure it'll be a long time from that. Um, this cute little American Eagle tank top. Uh, was marked $5.95. This was also from April, so that was probably uh, at least 30% off. I picked up this t-shirt from J. Crew, which I just thought was really cute. Oh, and that one was marked uh, $2, so super cheap. Um, that one was from May, so I, that one was probably only 25% off. And let's see. Oh, this shirt. I was so excited to find this shirt. This one is like a t-shirt style cardigan. Really lightweight. Um, and also like really flowy. It's got a lot of extra fabric in the front. You could actually tie it if you wanted to. And then it's got studding on the shoulders. And this one was marked $6.95. This one was from April, so I think that one was 30% uh, off. The night before I bought this, I was looking at almost identical shirts on the Gap's website, so I was really excited to find that. And then, this was probably the thing I was most excited about. I found this really cute um, Lily Pulitzer um, strapless dress, and I haven't tried any of this stuff on yet. It's all been sitting in the bag since I bought it, because um, I was waiting to haul it before I washed anything. And um, this one... That's weird. It says size extra small on her tag and it says size large in it. This definitely does not look like a size large, so I'm sure it will fit just fine. Um, but I just thought this was super cute. It was marked $12.95, um, but this one was from April as well, so that one was uh, very inexpensive, as well as this Banana Republic dress that I found with this really, really cute mod print. So uh, this was also adorable, and this one was marked $9.95 and was from May, so that one was at least 25% off. I didn't get anything that was not on sale. And then I got these shoes that are Fergie brand, and they are neon yellow. These were originally $10.95 and were from April, so these were probably at least 30% off. So all of that stuff I got for less than $50, just to kind of sum everything up. So, pretty amazing deal, and I spent nothing out of pocket, which was even more amazing. Um, yeah, as I'm watching myself in the camera, I want to address two things. One thing, you probably noticed my lighting is much improved from all of my videos in this location and probably any location around my room because I figured out a way to improve it uh, which I probably should have thought of a long time ago I have one of those lamps with like the little bendy parts on it where you can focus like where each light is and uh, I don't ever use that lamp it was like shoved in a corner so I pulled it out and turned all of them on and focused them on me and now, look, I have bright lighting, and you can actually see everything that I'm showing you. So that's awesome. And then the other thing is um, my hair looks very bright with the light shining on it. Um, I did just dye it, so it'll probably tone down a little bit, but I'm definitely loving the color it is right now. So without rambling anymore, um, I've probably done too much of that already in this video. I'm going to end this here. Like I said, I might come back with another video today, depending on uh, what I'm able to get done. So thank you for watching and sitting through my rambling, and I will be back again soon with another thrift doll. Bye.